Hello from the Big South Network Studio, I'm Mark Bryant. Time for one of our Big South basketball previews for the 2022-23 season. And today we're very happy to have Mark Prosser, coach of the Winthrop Eagles men's team with us. Mark, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. Well, let's get right into the season ahead by first looking back at the season <laughs> behind. Championship game comes up short. How have you used that as setback as preparation and motivation this year? Yeah, I think uh, you have to be a little bit careful, right? You have to make sure that you use it as the proper motivation, but uh, you also have to sort of close the book on last year and, and be ready to move forward with a brand new team, with the brand new personality. But, um, you know, obviously it, uh, it, in our program, we expect to, uh, to win championships and um, didn't reach that goal last year as a program and, and, and certainly um, left a bitter taste in our mouth that that locker room after the game was not something that, uh, that was a lot of fun to be a part of. And I think, you know, remembering that and keeping that sort of in the forefront of what we did, you know, at the end of last season through the summer, um, you know, but now certainly we won't forget about it, but we have to turn the page and, and make sure that we're, um, you know, we're a brand new team. We have a brand new group of players and, and we're very excited about too. So um, it's it's motivation, of course, as it always will be. Um, you know, we didn't play very well. They played better than us that day. And, um, you know, we sort of look forward to the opportunity to, uh, to hopefully chase that down again. So. You've been hard, hard at work at that already, right? Sure. So what's the evaluation of this year's squad from what you've seen so far and what are you emphasizing or re even retooling in practice? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, first of all, we have a really good group of kids. They're, uh, they're a lot of fun to be around every day. They, the competition on a day-to-day -day basis has always been very strong in our program. Um, our guys bring it sometimes. It's, um, you know, we have to sort of reel them back in from competing at a really high level and it, it's, it's a lot more fun to do it that way than push guys to compete. And on a day-to-day -day basis, we, um, you know, we feel like iron sharpens iron, so we, we've gotten after it pretty good. Um, you know, I think um, we're a little bit different. I think our personnel is a little bit different. Um, you know, we think we have the ability to play a little faster. We have a little of uh, the ability to be a little harder to score against defensively. And we've really talked about that a lot. I think our, our defense sort of came on as the year went on last year. Um, you know, early in the season, we were very good defensively, but um, you know, I do. I think we can be better defensively. I think we can play a little faster. I think, you know, a couple things as far as we've talked about is really taking care of the basketball better. We didn't do that at a, at a high enough level last year and um, and rebounding, especially offensively. And, um, you know, we were efficient offensively, but that doesn't mean enough shots went in that we didn't have to go get our misses. So um, I think we're, we're addressing that. I think it's a, yeah, it's a constant reminder for us that um, you know how it is this time of year you're just trying to limit mistakes and get uh, the open gym you know summer out of them a little bit but um, it's been a lot of fun and, uh, and I think we're, we're on the right track. Well you've got some some strong returning players among those key returnees Corey Hightower, Michael Anumba, Chase Claxton. What are your expectations for that group? Yeah I think um, it's it's really you know the state of college basketball is so much different now right you have brand new team and a year in year out basis and we're fortunate that we have seven returners from last year's team with a variety of experience. Guys that have been around for five years, like Mike Anumba, four years, like Chase Clax. And then, you know, you have guys like, you know, like Sincere McMahon and Corey Hightower who have been with us for three years, this being their third year that they came in when we got the job, when, you know, from Western Carolina. And, um, and so it's nice where you have now a year into our system, the way that we do things, and maybe a little bit different than the years previous. Um, not a ton different, but there are some nuanced differences to it. Um, and it's nice to have sort of a coach-led team with those seven guys that have been around they can sort of teach the new guys or the first year players, be it transfers or freshmen, um, terminology. And sometimes I think we all know this, a lot of it, it can be, it can mean a little more to me as a player coming from a fellow player than it does coming from the coaching staff. And I think the guys that you mentioned and, uh, and Kelton Telford, who's been around, and even a couple guys that didn't play last year but have a body of work and have been in our program uh, with Cameron Whiteside and Tenari Lane, that, that really helps the first year kids. So we're expecting a lot out of them. I think, you know, we do have, you know, we pride ourselves and we have a program that's, that's able to do it. We pride ourselves on having a very deep team. Um, I think we have a variety of kids that can score points and rebounds and, and fill the stat sheet. Um, you know, and I think on different days it's going to be different people. So the guys that you mentioned, and certainly some other guys as well, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully that's what makes us hard to play against. Well, let's talk about who you're playing against. Uh, looking at the non-conference schedule, what, what does that look like for this year? Particularly who's coming to Rock yeah, Hill? It's petrifying, um, <laughs> the, uh, the non-league schedule. It's 
Uh, it's always very competitive, I think, and, and we want to constantly in our program measure ourselves against the best teams in the country. That's, um, you know, that's where we feel like we've gotten to, and that's how we want to make sure that we prepare for, you know, we talked about before, for the games as you get into March. So, um, you know, we want to see where we are on sort of that national stage. So, um, you know, we start out, you know, at, at Penn State, which is obviously, you know, a daunting task of going up to a Big Ten team, and, and, and that's opening night, so that'll be difficult. But uh, we come back from that for homecoming with Middle Tennessee State, who, had a terrific year last year and, and, and beat us up at their place last year. So uh, we'll make sure that, you know, we, we remember that as well. But um, it's just a very, very difficult non-league schedule. Is it, is, like I said before, it always will be uh, Penn State, uh, LSU, um, Duquesne, um, Auburn, and, and we go down to Cancun for the Cancun Challenge. But then, you know, even in state, you know, we play Coast Carolina at our place. We have to go down to firm. And so uh, really, really good games. And I think really, really exciting brand of basketball across the board. Well, Coach Prosser, we are looking forward to the season ahead. Good luck to you and to all the Eagles. And we thank you for watching another of our Big South basketball previews for 2022-23.